fur in my nose. That's great. Nope. Nope. Still fur. Nope. Nope. There's still fur on me. Oh, hello friends. Welcome to my channel of bad decisions and pure awkwardness. I'm your host, Elizabeth. Today we're going to be talking about all the stupid shit that I've bought during quarantine. Today's wine is called Relax. It's pretty sweet for me, but it's, it's good. I was looking for a bottle of wine at Rite Aid, which is right down the street from me. I'll get to that, what else I purchased at Rite Aid later. I almost picked up a Pinot Grigio because if I drink white wines, I prefer a drier white wine. Cat hair. Cat hair. Cat hair. I was having a I've been having a few rough weeks <laughs> and this just called my name and as you can see there's just a little tiny bit left so I'm just gonna fill up my glass and we're gonna get started I like the bottle too it's so pretty I might keep this just to remind myself to relax we all need to be reminded to relax sometimes I bought a bunch of stuff from Ulta first we have the Marine Hyaluronics from The or Ordinary. Um, it is an ultra lightweight hydration support with marine derived vegan water reservoirs. Basically use it before you use like any creams and it's supposed to help keep your face moisturized. So Marlena Stell and so many other YouTubers that I've been watching recently have been talking a lot about rosehip oil. Anybody of any skin type can use it. And so I decided to look for it because they look so pretty. <laughs> so maybe I'll look pretty too. <laughs> so this is the Acure Essentials Ro Rosehip Oil. I checked the ingredients. It's only rosehip oil. A lot of rosehip oils that I came across on Ulta at least uh, had added ingredients. I tried to go with the Ordinary just because I mostly like their products, um, but they were sold out of their rosehip oil. But to add to that moisture, um, I also got Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Glow Getter Press Serum Moisturizer. It's pretty thick. I like Shea Moisture's um, products. This one, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for my skin yet, but so far I like it. I've only used it like twice. I bought this face wash. I have another tube of this in my bathroom and it is one of the best face washes that I found for my skin. It foams, it gets off makeup, I was running low. I still have quite a bit of it left, but I was running low and I was like, I like that face wash. I'm going to buy some more. And the last time I tried to buy it, they didn't have any of these, this brand. I think it's from Japan, if I'm not mistaken, Korea. Made in Korea. Yeah. This is a product that I'm not sure if I'll regret. Um, I've never tried anything from Soul Body, which is ColourPop. One of ColourPop's other brands. So they make uh, like glowy skin products and um, more for your body, still body. Um, but this is a gradual sunless tanning lotion because my legs are super white and I've been having a hard time keeping up with my workouts. So I thought if you can't tone it, tan it. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Prime, correct, and set. 16 hour wear. As you can see, I've used a little bit of it and it's fine. I don't know about setting sprays. Do they work? Have you found any that really work for you? I like the um, Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but it is pretty pricey. I also like the NYX, I believe it's the matte setting spray. That's a pretty good dupe for that. And it's, you know, a fraction of the cost. As far as this Milani spray goes, I guess I'm just gonna have to like keep using it. I don't know. I think I've mentioned in all of my videos 
that I am looking for a dupe for the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Crayons. And I found this from e.l.f. and it's a rich red and it is just a matte lip crayon. Um, I've used it a couple times. It's more, I'd say it's creamier than the NARS lipsticks, but I like it. The only thing is this came out. This is something else that I got. It is um, from Smashbox. It's a lip gloss in Crimson Chrome. It was one of their holiday um, releases. It came in a ornament kind of thing with like a little string. Um, it's so pretty. Holy moly, is that pigmented for a gloss? I I don't know if I would actually consider that a gloss. <laughs> it's a pretty creamy lipstick if you ask me, but it's super pretty. Next up, been on this um, eyeliner kick, this bright eyeliner kick, and. I have one of these in another color, in a purple, and I really like it. Um, so I got the NYX Vivid Brights in eyeliner in Vivid Fire. As you can see, I have a thing for red as well. So it comes out a little pink. It might show up more red on camera, but um, it actually dries down kind of pretty red, uh, like a matte red. and. I haven't used it yet. I've just kind of swatched it, but I'll let you know my thoughts a little later. I also got this NYX Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner in Sunshine Blue, Sunrise Blue, sorry. I saw Jen Loves Reviews use like a, like an indigo in her waterline and it looked so pretty on her. And this is fine, I like it, but it's not the color I was really going for. So then I got, again, a NYX uh, white retractable eyeliner. And I have a white eyeliner already, it's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, but it's like almost gone. So I just got another white eyeliner. From Essence, I got extreme lasting eye pencil and simply nude and it's supposed to be last up to 16 hours and be waterproof lord knows i need anything waterproof on my eyes because my eyes water so much and i really like this pencil i've used it quite a bit already um it's just really pretty in the waterline and actually i really like it i prefer it in the waterline rather than a white eyeliner again from essence it is a precision eyeliner brush. I've used it. It's fine. <laughs> Nothing to like write home about, but it's it's fine. It does it, it does what it's supposed to. I got a couple eyeliner brushes because um the ones I had were a little thicker and I couldn't get like a super small line to use shadows as eyeliner, if that makes sense. I got the Essence Velvet Matte. Again, looking for a dupe for uh, my NARS. Velvet Matte in 11 Fudgy Brownies. And I like this lipstick. It's very, um, it's not matte. <laughs> I would not say this is matte. This is pretty creamy for a uh, matte lipstick. But I love the color. I try not to buy too many lipsticks um, unless I have... I'm looking for a good red or a color that I don't have in my collection already. And this definitely, it's outside of my comfort zone for sure, uh, but it's really, really pretty. What else did I buy? The next place I purchased from was Target. Now, this is how companies get you in. I purchased some things online to send to my cousin who is in Chicago. You spend so much money, they give you a gift card, which is an incentive to spend more money, which I did. So I spent money on her stuff. And then my next order, I bought stuff for myself. So here's what I bought. This is the NYX 
eyeshadow base in skin tone. That's not really my skin tone, but it's probably not a lot of people's skin tone. They could have called it something else. Uh, I heard this was a dupe for MAC Paint Pot. Uh, so, and I'm always looking for a really good eyeshadow base. I've been using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk forever. Um, but I am running low on that, so I decided to try this. Please let me know if you have any other um, ideas. This is fine. I don't know that it's good for my oily skin. Next is from Milani. It is the Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner in Black Matte. It stays put pretty well. I wouldn't say that it lasts 17 hours, but for the price, it's a good liquid eyeliner. Next, we have another NYX. Man, NYX is getting a lot of money from me lately. Vivid Brights Eyeliner in the color Lud. Lud? No. In the color Love, which this is the color. It's like a periwinkle. That's not the, the color I think of whenever I think of love. Is that the color that you think of? It's not for me. It is a retractable pencil. It's more like shimmery than that other blue. And it is a little bit lighter. It's fine. <laughs> Another lipstick. I was, again, looking for a dupe for my Old Faithful. This is the NYX Lingerie Push-Up long-lasting lipstick in the color exotic and like a warm neutral can you see it can you see it i'd say this is closer of a dupe than the formula from elf and so far i really like it i don't know if it's a substitute or not yet but we'll figure that out soon i broke down and i bought the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palettes, or I guess, you know, quads. This is in Truffles Cream and Sugar. When I got my order, this is actually the what came in the mail. It was this um, shimmery brown color, tan color, was um, just completely damaged. So. They were, Target was really good about shipping this out to me very quickly, like within two days. And these are really pretty. Now, at first, the matte shades, I'm kind of like, mm, they were hard to build. But once you build them up pretty well, they, they actually look very good. See, they don't swatch that great. But that's um, what the Truffles palette looks like. And you can see the, the shimmer is so pretty. Um, this darker color, I'd say this one, um, it looks like a dark brown black in the pan, but it is not swatch good. <laughs> yeah, the, the mattes are kind of like meh, but I will say like on the eyes, they are really pretty. Oh, hi honey. Can I have that? Thank you. This is the cream and sugar palette. Again, that's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like swatched. But I will say that I like this one's performance better. And the shimmers are just really, really pretty in that. So that's what I got at Target. Since we're talking about the e.l.f. bite size palettes, everybody was talking about them online and I just see it for myself, like I need another eyeshadow palette. So I went to go get wine at the Rite Aid down the street. And while I was there, I was like, I'm just gonna look at the makeup section, and just see what I see. So I got another e.l.f. palette. And this one is the in the color Rosewater. Again, I think out of the three that I have, I like this one and this one the most. I think I tried this one first in rose water again i was kind of underwhelmed with the matte shade in this but it is very buildable so it turned out well and i mean 
I'm I'm all about like the mauvey, mauvey, um, nudie colors. Is it unique to anything that I already have in my collection? No. <laughs> it is not unique, but it is very pretty. And for three bucks, and these are like awesome to travel with if I ever get to travel again. So I got that from Rite Aid. I got this from Rite Aid. And then this was on sale for a dollar. Did I tell you it's 78 degrees today? It was a dollar. Get off my back. Let's talk about Amazon. I know that Jeff Bezos is kind of a douche. I know they don't treat their employees well, especially during all of this. Granted, a lot of this stuff I didn't find out about until after I made my purchases. Same with Target, same with, you know, all of the stuff that I bought. I was just in the buying mode and I didn't think about other things. And I'll get a little bit more into that later. So, from Amazon, I got lots of headbands. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I got some that are like harder with the plastic and then some that are, that have like elastic. And they're like cute little, you know, colors and whatnot. I pretty much have a headband for every, every occasion now. Uh, if you want me to do a try on, let me know. <laughs> I'll try to make it interesting and fun for you. <laughs> and they just keep going. These are actually really cute. They have little flamingos on them. These two. I love them. They're so cute. Oh, there's more. <laughs> do I? <laughs> what am I going to do with all these? There's these. We have this. And this. Capper. Kefir not included. So now the other dumb thing that I purchased. What is my life? Dumb thing number 5,000 that I purchased on Amazon. <laughs> this is the first time I put it on and Obviously, I didn't really put my hair up or anything, but <laughs> I bought a black and white wig. I plan on doing a Corella Deville look, and that's mainly why I purchased this. Do I need it? Hell no. <laughs> Is it essential to the look? I could argue yes, but I don't really need it. <laughs> it was one of those purchases that I was probably drinking wine and laying in bed and kind of like, yeah, I so need that. Definitely need that. That's <laughs> my life would come. <laughs> and the last things that I'm going to show in this video, believe it or not, I've, since thinking of this idea, I've purchased more things. So Taylor Wynn did a video, so I'm blaming her. She did a haul on YesStyle, and I've never purchased anything from YesStyle, and I really like um, Asian beauty products. I not tried a lot of makeup, and she did like a full face of Asian beauty makeup, and I really liked that, so I wanted to just pop on and see what they had for the purposes of holding my bangs back while they're growing out before I can go get my hair cut. I got this headband. I bought this headband. This one that I'll use like to hold my hair back whenever I'm like washing it or you know doing face masks. Um, This from CauseRx. It's an ultimate moisturizing honey overnight mask. I really like overnight masks. I have one that I got I think in an Ipsy bag or something that's from youth to the people and i really liked it and i'm almost out of it so um this is enriched with more than 80 per 87 percent of propolis extract 
natural beeswax. This mask provides intensive hydration with refreshing moisture. I also got this, this eyebrow pencil from Etude House and it is a red brown, which I have a very hard time finding a good match for my eyebrows but it's very thin and I like that um, I think Taylor Wynn recommended this and then I got the I guess it's Moni Moni waterproof eyeliner pencil McQueen New York and I've used this a couple times too and I really like it I wouldn't say that it's like god I can't draw a straight line I wouldn't say that it's like the blackest black. It's not as black as that Milani, but it is easy to use and it's fine. I got a foot file. I've been running more, so my feet are disgusting. I got this. I haven't tried either. It is a, it, it's from Etude House. It is a lash serum. My lashes suck, like my real lashes and they just keep getting shorter and more sparse with age, like my hair. I got two lipsticks from Peripera. Taylor Wynn also featured these in her video. Looking for dupes for my NARS. These are pretty matte, I'd say. This one is Emotional Red, and this one is Cinnamon Chai Tea. Uh, this Cherry Moisture Lip Glow from Etude House. But it smells so good. I love this. It's just like a clear lip gloss, but it's like supposed to give you more moisture. So because it was my first purchase, and I don't know if they do this with every purchase or just for your first purchase, but I got two free things. This is Look at me, Sweet Honey Bear Face Mask, smooth and nourishing for all skin types. So I'll try that. And then I got this cute little bag that says Save the Planet with a little polar bear on it. I know when I think it was my first video, I said that I try to be cruelty free. Um, I do try to. I'm not always great at it. <laughs> um, I'm getting better, like looking at that kind of thing before I purchase something except for some reason during this time because I just bought a bunch of random shit that I didn't even think about like looking up so these are not cruelty free Etude House I don't believe is cruelty free the only thing that I bought from um Yes Style that I believe is cruelty free is this Cause RX and I believe all of their products are cruelty free so just in case you know I've misled you somehow. So far that's all I've gotten in the mail. I have some stuff from Juvia's Place coming, the new palette which I'm really excited about. Um, my friends talked me into buying that. It's their fault, not mine. I have some stuff from Makeup Geek coming and then just this morning I bought Overtone uh, conditioner. It's like a deep conditioner and it changes the color of your hair. I got magenta and orange. So I'll update you on that. Maybe I'll do a video. I don't know. This is where what I'm doing with my time in quarantine. Um, send help. Do I want help? I don't know. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, let me know what kind of quarantine purchases that you've purchased. I guess I'll just see you in my next quarantine video where I buy more stuff that I don't need. Leave me recommendations for assistance, help, or just other things that you think I should get. Okay guys. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. And okay, bye.